we have a bit of a long walk. I just walked from the bottom of that hill. <laughs> uh, my bus is doing a detour this morning. And so I think I got about 10 blocks to walk, which is fun times, guys, fun times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, happy winter solace. So um, today, being as the 21st of December, that's always a reminder that, um, a reminder that uh, today was the day that my firstborn, Avalon, was supposed to be due. And so this week is always pretty special to me. I mean, Christmas week was always special to me. It was always my favorite holiday. But um, if you don't know, uh, my firstborn was born um, uh, deceased. Uh, had her on Christmas Eve. She was due on the 21st of December. I went to the hospital. And, well, the 21st, I went for my normal checkup. We did our normal checkup. Heard her heartbeat. 22nd, I went out to do laundry. I was feeling good. I was fine. But sometime on the 22nd, I don't know, I felt like I lost something, but I didn't put two two together. I felt fine. Like, I felt sadness, but I don't know what sadness was from suddenly. And then on, later on that evening, the 22nd, I felt this immense pain, like cramping, called the doctor. They said, oh, did you use your mucus plug? I said, yeah, like a week ago on the 15th and you told me not to come in. And so I didn't go in. And so I called that, that same, well, a different doctor that night. They said, well, Dr. Woods is here. Um, are you feeling lots of pain? I said, yes. They said, well, why don't you um, go take a hot shower, but don't come in. So I called my cousin. The cousin said, we're going in. She said, that sounds like you're having contractions from what I was describing. So, whew, man, walking. <laughs> so, went in, they couldn't find a heartbeat. And of course I lost it. And then after blaming God and being angry with God and blaming everyone, being angry with everyone, I conceded, I apologized to God, and I said my goodbyes to my daughter. And then I womaned up. <laughs> As you know, they say man up, I woman up. And Donald wanted her to just be removed as easy as possible with like a C-section. He said, no, if you don't have her vaginally, you may not risk having, you may risk having her um, problems later if you ever have another child so they had to induce me that was hours later a day and a half later around midnight around one o'clock in the morning we had Avalon on Christmas Eve. And I was sure I was going to hate Christmas Eve for the rest of my life because it would forever remind me of what I almost had. And anyone who loses a child is different for everyone. Sometimes the pain comes, sometimes the pain doesn't come. But the memory is always there. This is where I normally get off. So now we're at the halfway point. But this is basically where I normally get off and walk to work. So you guys have seen the spot. 
so a couple months later you all know I became pregnant with my rainbow baby who is Amethyst Avalon will forever be my angel and every time I look at Amethyst I see Avalon and that is it for that story because I don't feel like going into detail and crying and tears and stuff so um, you will see on a video on Christmas Eve how I prepare my day for Avalon and what I do for her and the candle I lit and, and buttons you'll just basically see how I remember my daughter on Christmas Eve Hopefully we don't get any more snow. I think it's all dirty now. <laughs> but forever, whomever has lost someone in his hardships while well, going through the hardship now of a holiday, just know that you're not alone and that it heals with time. And it's okay if you don't cry right away. And it's okay if you cry much later. And it's okay if you don't cry at all. Because I feel like if you are crying, that's your person you have lost. Letting you know that it's okay to cry for me and that I love you. And if you're not crying, it's because they're still saying it's okay. You know I was loved. And there's no need to share any tears. So... Tears or no tears. Grieving is grieving. And it's different for everyone. Other than that, I hope you like this video. And looks like something's going on up the street. Hold up. Here yeah, we got fire trucks coming up the block. Hopefully it's nothing dramatic. <laughs> but I guess I won't be ending the video here. I'll pull it back up when we get there. If they're speeding fast, there's something like seriously really bad going on. I don't know if anybody's trapped in a car, but the pickup truck came like flying through. You see him speeding around the corner. The ambulance coming. This is not what I was wanting in this video. I can smell smoke so I'm hoping no one's in a car accident because these this area is very hilly and very icy so you can see it behind me I'm not gonna put people's faces I try to avoid people's faces as much as possible when filming but it was a car accident so three men well three car car accident and um, white van looks like it hit this black car that forced it into hitting another car which 9 out of 10 when they were trying to make a turn they smacked the other car into whoever was coming in the other direction because it's it looks like it's fun no one looks hurt so <laughs> looks like no one's going to hospital but everybody's hopefully insurance as well <laughs> because yeah that was three car collision uh the the smallest car has the most damage in the front like his whole bumper is gone but all the gentlemen who were involved were standing out there smiling shaking hands no arguments no one crying so i take that as a plus because like i said whew, not what i expected to clip my video but um, other than that guys thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow